All right, so we go back outside to the uh, market district sewers. And now I'm expecting to just bump into mud crabs and such on the way out, so I'm going to switch that spell back to Cold Touch. Just that weak little frost spell. Oh, look, a bed. Can I use it? Nope, enemies nearby. Alright, let's check these chests. I went ahead and... Did I turn that crank? I thought I, I tried to, but I'm not sure if I hit it. There we go. Can't... can't wait, huh? Alright. Let's see what's in here. Hoping the enemies that are nearby are just like rats or something. Oh, that's a mud crab. Oh well. Hey, my destruction skill increased. That's cool. Another major skill going up. Let's see. I know if I if, if you can have nine skills in this game, I know for sure the two skills that I add, I, w I would add would be armorer and uh, nope, be armorer and security because those are two other skills that would be nice to be able to just use because you use them so frequently. Hello. I forgot I had my weak spell on there for a second. I was trying to give her the shocker. Oh, my strength's being drained. It doesn't matter. Let's see, we'll search her for she even hits the ground. That's always fun. See you later. See ya, wouldn't wanna be ya. Tell me we're getting close to the exit, please. That looks like I ran past the exit. That's weird. Let's go back down here. Gates open remotely. Where's the crank? Yeah, several of these gates on the way back, it looks like. Definitely all designed to prevent you from going through this dungeon in the wrong direction. So they don't want you to be able to play through the easy way. Hey, we can rest it right here. How about that? And we can level up. Nice. Five on agility. Two on speed. And let's see. We're not doing any other stats for this quest line, and so... Uh... I don't feel bad putting one point. Well, you know, let's put it on endurance. Well, you know, I'm, we're gonna have, we're gonna have another quest line where I'll raise endurance. So let's do willpower. There we go. And I think looking back, those two points that I put on strength at my last level, I probably should have put on willpower. But oh well, it's not that big of a deal. It's just two points. What is this? The market district. Oh my god. Woo! And yes, after f all that crap. You are finally back home, out in the open area, out in the open air again. So we need to return to the uh, gray fox, and so we'll just hop right over there and go find him. Okay, so here we are back in the Elven Gardens district. I believe the house is right over here, so it's not a long walk. Locked door? What the hell? This is where I'm supposed to go for my quest. Don't make me pick locks. Whatever. Inside, we should find the gray fox. I hope. Yes, still seated in the same You're spot. Back. Have a seat and tell me everything. Happily. Thank God this crap is over with, man. You have the scroll. I can hardly believe it. The odds were clearly against you. Capital job. Capital. I have spent seven years learning how to translate this scroll. Even so, I will need a while to decipher what I've sought so desperately. So now what? Ah, still thinking about your reward, eh? <laughs> I have not forgotten you or your loyal service to the Thieves' Guild. You'll just have to trust me. Give this ring to Countess Umbranox in Anvil. Say nothing about me to her. I need to know how she reacts to it. It may provoke anger or tears. If she asks, just tell her a stranger wanted her to have it. Then report back to me on her reaction. Oh. The, Count of, the, the Countess of Anvil? It's a wedding ring. Wait a minute. If I remember correctly, from some loading screens a while back, as well as some other things we've learned in this guild, the uh, Grey Fox has extended his personal protection to the Countess of Anvil, just like he did for the people of the waterfront. And that's why we got Lex switched to be her guard captain, so he has to say I'm good at being a guard. And then, another loading screen I remember is that the Countess Umbernox lost her husband years ago. And, like, is frequently seen staring out to sea, because apparently he was a sailor or something. I don't know. But, uh, apparently the Grey Fox picked the wedding ring at some point, because he's got it now. He wants to see what she's gonna, or how she's gonna react to getting it back. I think she's just playing with her. Hey, it's this guy. Hey. You should be on your way by now. Who are you? Okay. Shadow, hide you. Why is the forger hanging out in the castle lobby? That's. 
Strange. <laughs> Get it? Strange? Because he's a stranger? Uh, I slay me. Alright, now that it's daytime and everybody's here for the party. You know, us and the weird guy loitering in the lobby, plus the two guards and the countess. Yes. How you doing? I got something for you here. Make it quick. Alright, bitch, I got this ring for you, yo. This ring belonged to my husband. He's been missing for over ten years. For some reason, his name and face escape me at the moment. What? How did you get it? Do you know his whereabouts? Why are you showing it to me? It's a gift from a stranger. Tell him... Wait a minute, that stranger... <gasps> oh my god! His wedding ring. I never thought to see it again. What I wouldn't give to see him once more. He looks familiar. Hello. Whoa, what's going on here? By the power of the Elder Scrolls, I name Emmer Dereloth as the true thief of Nocturnal's cow. You're the Grey Fox? I've been betrayed! I am the Grey Fox. But you have not been betrayed. But... I am also your missing husband, Corvus. Corvus? Is it really you? Ten years I've waited for word from you. Why did you hide from me? Ten years ago I inherited this cow from the former guildmaster of the Thieves' Guild. I became the new guildmaster. But I also received its curse. Whoever wears Nocturnal's cow shall have his name stricken from history. Once I donned the cow, no one in all of Tamriel could recognize me. With the cow, I became the Grey Fox. Without it, I was a stranger, even to you. You mean you were unable to return? I stood right next to you, and you didn't even know it. I cried out to you, Here I am! It's me, Corvus! But you just looked at me, confused. You were broken my heart for a second time. I cannot let the infamous criminal mastermind, the Grey Fox, become the Count of Anvil. If you try to announce yourself as Corvus, I will deny you. I will deny you before the Emperor if I have to. I guessed you would say these terrible things to me. That is why I brought my friend along. From this moment forward, I renounce my life of crime forever. I'm passing the Grey Cow of the Thieves' Guild to its new Guild Master. The Grey Cow is now yours. You are the new Guild Master of the Thieves' Guild. Holy crap! You'll find that history has been altered tonight. Such is the power of Nocturnal's curse, that lifting it can alter time itself. What's different? If Emmer Derloth had not stolen Nocturnal's cow, the Thieves' Guild would never have fallen on such hard times. Because of the curse, he was unable to operate in the normal world of business and society. He could only act as the Guild's figurehead. That has been undone. If you go to the Imperial City, you will find that the Thieves' Guild has a guild hall on the site of the ruins of Dereloth. Good Damn. Afternoon. 50 G for Guild Master, bitches! Woohoo! And we get the Grey Cowl of Nocturnal added to our inventory, which has some interesting properties. I'll get to that in a second. What? 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 And he goes back to being the boring stranger person, and that's basically all there is to it for those estranged lovers. If you come back, uh, I think in a couple days there'll be another chair here. You actually can see his throne in what storage. It? And it'll, it'll come back out and he'll be sitting there next to her in his uh, stately robes. For now, we're going to return to the waterfront. So the reason we've returned to the waterfront, uh, yeah, is because uh, history has been rewritten and we should go to the new Thieves' Guild Hall. Uh, basically, yeah, we get to run the place. <laughs> That's cool. But, uh, he needed the Elder Scroll in order to know how to break Nocturnal's curse, and so now the cowl behaves a little bit differently. It doesn't strike us from history. You see here the Garden of Daraloth, where uh, Armand is always standing around. And now we have a guild hall here. How cool. But basically, uh, the cowl behaves differently for you than it did for him. It doesn't make you, like, be lose all your progress and become stricken from history, etc., etc. It just basically uh, makes you... It gives you like an alter, alter identity almost. It's like putting on the Spider-Man suit or whatever. Like it, it's like a alter ego. But yeah, you see, it fortifies your sneak. It gives you lots of feather and it detects life, which can be useful or annoying. So it looks on like on you, equipable armor. It's all right. 
It's got the lettering on the front, that sort of thing. It just looks like a cowl. It looks the same on you as it did on him, basically. Not all that attractive, in other words. Let's run towards a wall here. Yeah, not that, not that sexy. But, like I say, it increases your sneak by like, a ridiculous amount. It gives you that feather and detect life, which is nice. And it also gives you an alter ego. You notice that when I put on the cowl, I have it on now. If I swap over to my uh, information, it's the wrong menu, go here. My, I automatically have a bounty of 500 gold. And you can see that I have a fame of 0 and an infamy of 100. When that's not my stats. That ain't me. That's the Gray Fox. So basically, by putting on the gray fo the cowl, you become the gray fox. I love how the red eyes look, the dark elf red eyes behind that cowl look. This is really cool looking, actually, I like that. But, uh, yeah, you become the gray fox, and essentially you can shift anything that you don't want on your character over to the gray fox. And this isn't a really exciting uh, guild hall to look through, if I remember correctly. Nothing particularly interesting to find here. So if we go outside and I commit a crime with the cowl on, and I'm like you know, scene with the cowl, I can go away, like, sneak away, hide it, hide. Oh, crap. You're the Gray Fox. You're under arrest for, for, uh, for all kinds of stuff. You're wanted dead or alive. I'm, I'm choosing dead. Yeah, and you get this happening a lot, where you can resist arrest. I think you can go talk to your doyen and actually pay I'll off your fines. Captain for this. But yeah, any guard who sees you is going to, like, gleefully chase after you. But uh, feel free to return the fire, uh, because, because uh, you're the Grey Fox. You're not you. So any guard you kill is going to add to your bounty as the Grey Fox. Goes down as one of his crimes in history. It doesn't have anything to do with Jube, so... Yeah, I'm just using regular arrows now. My spell ran out. Crap. Dang it, where's my shocker? Let's finish this quickly. I'm not, not enough time to be screwing around with the guards right now. Dang it, I missed. Ah, oh, crap, I missed twice. Are you serious? Where's one of those welcome stones? I'm gonna eat it. Yeah, that's how you restore your magicka. You eat a welcome stone. Om nom nom nom. It's the gray fox. You're under arrest. Bam. Okay, great. And yeah, you can kill guards. It's fun. Take my arrows back. Thank you very much. Actually, I think those might have been his arrows, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, if you look now at my bounty again. Let's zip back over there. 1,000 added to the bounty, and I'll look another point of infamy, how nice. If we go ahead and remove the gray cowl, things change, and what'll happen is, let's zip back around to the uh, information screen here. I guess we have a bounty of 45 from earlier, because we actually have a bounty right now, but you see it isn't the 500 from the gray fox, and our fame and infamy return to normal. And so that 1,000 bounty that I got from killing that guard, just gone. Don't have to worry about it now. It's on the Gray Fox, it ain't on me. Alright, and so that is the Thieves Guild. We have now become the Gray Fox, so we have finished the quest line. So that means there's only two quest lines left in the whole game. We have to go through the Fighters Guild, which is going to be quick and easy, because I'm going to have all kinds of magical, Gray Foxy, cool arena, Dark Brotherhood stuff. I have, I have basically got a lot of advantages that are going to help us in the Fighters Guild, so that one should go quickly. And then we will take on the biggest quest line of them all, the main quest, and uh, take on the Jade, the Dra the Daedra, pouring into Tamriel from Oblivion. And so, in the next episode of Let's Play Oblivion, we will begin the Fighters Guild. See you then.